what is going on guys welcome back to another video today i'm going to be teaching you how to script takedowns in roblox studio now i did a video on alleys the other day and this was a highly requested video on the alley video a lot of people commented dms etc etc saying teach us how to do takedowns so that's what i'm going to do today i'm going to teach you how to script takedowns now if i'm going too fast it's because i've recorded this video three times already and i'm tired of it so let's get to it so i'm going to be using this 13 explorer here click on it you want to don't you won't have any of this yet you want to go into it go into your body hit the plus sign model duplicate that model you're going to name one of them light bar and make the other one outfitting just like so once you've done that you can go into your light bar hit the plus add a model duplicate this model three times you're going to want front side rear if i'm going too fast you can always pause the video once you've done all that you can go into this car which you'll be leaving in the description it's a 2020 explorer open it up open the body go into the light bar grab everything in the light bar copy go into your back into your car go into your light bar and paste into it. you're going to have to drag the middle over here You can always just put it in the hood, that's just fine. Once you've done that, go into your car. If you have anything in the drive seat, delete it. Now go into this Explorer. Grab what's in the drive seat of this Explorer, the pickup and siren control, and paste that in there. It's like so. Now, once you've done that, you can basically delete this car because we won't need it anymore. Once you've done that, I'm gonna be using a Wheelin Avenger which is, where's it at, where's it at, here it is, the Wheel and Dual Avenger, I'm going to bring that over, and something that you could do to make sure it's like perfectly centered, you can actually hold Alt, click on the window, go to the window's origin position, like so, click on your light, and paste that origin position in there, so now basically it has it perfectly centered with the car and then the window, now sometimes you might have to you know it might not be as perfect as it is here it might be you know out here but centered so you just kind of got to mess with it to make sure it is centered all the way once you've done that you can grab your wheeling you can drag it into that front model that we just made so basically what we did when we dragged it in the front it's making it so the light moves with the car now one thing else you're going to want to do, you want to go into the dual wheel and Avenger, take these two parts, drag them in the front, and this dual wheel and Avenger, the outfitting model we made, drag it in there. Now, once you've done that, you can open up these two parts, click on the lightos, and change the brightness to 20, just like so. And we're going to name these E1 and E2. Now, I'll give you guys a second to catch up. Alright, once you guys caught up, now basically we're ready to script. So another thing I want to do before we get to scripting, on these on these parts, click surface light. You're gonna add a surface light to them. You're gonna change the face to whichever way it's actually facing out here. You're gonna change the angle to 180, the brightness to 0.5, and then basically just duplicate it and put it in E2. Now you're gonna grab both of these surface lights, click on both of them disable them once you've done that now these are ready to script so you want to go into the front hit the plus add a script you're going to do ve dot ve equals script dot parent dot parent dot valley dot front my bad and you're going to do local red equals color dot from rgb 190 72 67 just like so. Now you're gonna hit enter under that. You're gonna do local blue equals color dot from RGB 54 87 207. 
Once you've done that, you can do local white equals color dot from RGB. And then you're gonna do 222, 224, 248. Now that you have that, you can do a while true do function dot one stage with parentheses like that. And once you hit enter, it should add another end here. I'm gonna do ve dot e1 dot lido dot color dot image color three equals we'll do blue. And then you can basically, instead of writing all that again, copy this, paste it, change the E1 to E2, and change the blue to red. Now, you can copy this, the function one stage, hit enter, paste it down here. But instead of the being one stage, we're gonna do takedown. Just like that, TKDN. You're gonna change these to white like that. Now, once you've done that, under this end, you're kind of going to do a task.wait. And you're going to do an if script.parent.parent.values.on.value equals one and script.parent.parent.values.takedown.value equal equals false. Then ved.e1.lido.enabled equals false. So basically what that's doing is the false means the Lido is not enabled and I'm not going to do anything for stage one. I'll give you guys a second to catch up there. I said you can always pause and speed up the video if you need to. If you've done that, enter else if script.parent.parent.values. Dot on dot value equals two and script dot parent dot parent dot values dot takedown dot value equal equals false then so basically what you're doing you're doing the same thing here but instead of it being if it's gonna be else if and instead of the one being a one it's gonna be a two and down that hit enter you, what you can do, you can copy this. Now I'm going to do a very slow pattern here. So then I'm going to, above these, I'm going to add the one stage. And then I'm going to do weight.0.5. Copy that, paste it, true to false, false to true. Now once you've done that, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Else if script.parent.parent.values dot on dot value equal equals three and script dot parent dot parent dot values dot takedown dot value equal equals false then and now this is stage three you're gonna add that one stage then I'm gonna do for loop under that one stage for loop equals one comma three do, just like that. Paste that, true false, but instead of the wait time, we're gonna do 0 0.05. Copy this, paste it below, change the all, everything has to be false on that one. Just like that, I'll give you guys a minute to catch up. you guys have that basically copy this go all the way up from this this end all the way up to the for loop under this end hit enter paste change false to true just like so <clears throat> and once you've done this under this end you're gonna hit enter you're gonna do else if script.parent.parent.values.takedown.value equals true then you're going to do the takedown with the parentheses. So T K D N with the parentheses. Enter. Else 
not else if the dot e1 dot lido dot enabled equals true and then you can basically copy this paste it below and change e1 to e2 once you've done that you can enter under that type else and then basically can come up here grab this paste it under the else so now basically what you've done is you've scripted your takedowns so i'll give you guys a second to look over this or take a screenshot or pause or something to uh, you know catch up all right now that you've done that you can go ahead and back out of your script i'm going to name this script a takedown tkdn tkd and w my bad once you've done that you can go ahead and hit play here your studio might load faster than mine i have 7,000 models in here as you can see once you've done that go into your car remember stage one wasn't nothing stage two was a slow pattern just like that as you can see those surface lights we added are working and then stage three was that and then your takedowns will be your right bracket right bracket is takedowns left bracket is alleys so just like that you just scripted your first takedowns If you did enjoy this video or you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord. It will be in the um, description. Please do not open a ticket. If you have questions, there's multiple channels in there, like Dev Conversation. There's even a dedicated channel to ask me questions. Um, if you did enjoy this video, like, subscribe. My name has been Brayden. Stay safe and take care.